All right, good morning, everybody. Wipe the sleepies from your eyes. Get ready to focus. Welcome to Math Lesson 20, Three Ways to Show Division. So a little bit of review that division is just the process of dividing a number into equal groups. So if you had a question like, an art teacher plans to distribute 60 sheets of construction paper equally to each of 10 students, how many sheets of construction paper should each student receive? Well, we're trying to divide the number 60 into equal groups. So 60 is the number we are trying to divide into equal groups. How many equal groups are we divided it into? We're trying to divide it between 10 students. So we end up with a problem like 60 divided by 10. How many sheets of construction paper does each student get? Hopefully you know that 10 times 6 equals 60, so each student is going to receive 6 sheets of construction paper. Now, I did have a couple of people on Thursday saying they aren't sure still how to divide, which I will go through one more time. If you are fuzzy on your multiplication facts and you do need to use your multiplication chart, First, you're going to look in the row of the number you are dividing by. The number you're dividing by is called the divisor. We're dividing by 10, so we're looking in the 10 row. Step two, find the number you are dividing. 60 is the number we are dividing. And then step number three, go straight up to find the answer, otherwise known as the quotient, and there it is. 60 divided by 10 will give you 6. So when you read a division problem, you read the number inside the division box first, which is known as the dividend. Then you say divided by the number outside the box, which is called the divisor, equals the answer, which is known as the quotient. You would read this problem as 15 divided by 3 equals 5. Again, 15 is the dividend, the number we say first. 3 is the divisor. 5 is the answer, otherwise known as the quotient. But there's two other ways to show 15 divided by 3 equals 5. You could use a division sign in which case 15 would be first, the division sign, then the divisor of 3 equals the quotient of 5. This is the way I want you to use it when you have to write division facts when I say write them horizontally. Write them out horizontally using a division sign. Or we can also use this, which is called a division bar. Kind of looks like an improper fraction, and if you don't know what improper fractions are, we'll get to it in a while. The dividend of 15 would be on top, the divisor of 3 would be on the bottom, and 5 is still your quotient. You would still read it. 15 divided by 3 equals 5. So these numbers are called the dividend, the divisor, and the quotient. In the example above, the dividend is 15, the divisor is 3, and the quotient is 5. The location of these numbers in each form is shown below this is straight off of page 124 of your book. If you're using the division box, dividend, divisor, Quotient, 15 divided by 3 equals 5. If you're using a division sign, 15 divided by 3 equals 5. Or if you're using the division bar, 15 divided by 3 equals 5. Again, they are straight off of page 124 of your book, which you're definitely going to want to have open to that page during the Socrative quiz. So we're going to see some problems like this. Find the quotient for each division problem. Here I'm starting off with 18 divided by 6. If I'm not sure, I'm going to look at my multiplication chart in the 6 row till I come across 18 
and go straight up for the quotient, hopefully you would then know that 18 divided by 6 equals 3. Or in this one, we're going to pronounce it 16 divided by 4. I'm going to look in the 4 row till I come across 16 and go straight up for the quotient. If you weren't sure, hopefully you know now, 16 divided by 4 equals 4. Or the last one, when it's in a division box, you say the dividend, the number inside the box first. This is pronounced 48 divided by 6. Hopefully everybody knows 48 divided by 6 gives you a quotient of 8. So we might run into this type of problem every now and then. Here it's asking us to use three different division forms to show 63 divided by 9. In no particular order, I'm going to start off just using my division symbol. Here I have 63 divided by 9. Now I need two other ways. My second way, I can use the division bar, 63 divided by 9. And for my third and last way, 63 divided by 9, using a division box, 63, the dividend, goes inside the box. The divisor of 9 goes outside the box. 63 divided by 9. So here they're going to ask us to rewrite each division problem using a division box. So this says 24 divided by 4. 24 is my dividend, the number I am dividing, so he goes inside the box. 4 is my divisor, the number I'm dividing by, so he goes outside the box. 24 divided by 4. Here I have 18 divided by 6. So 18 is my dividend, the number I'm dividing, he goes inside the box. 6 is my divisor, the number I'm dividing by, so he'll go outside the box. And our last one here, 25 divided by 5. So 25 is my dividend, the number I'm dividing, so he's going inside the box. 5 is my divisor, the number I'm dividing by, he goes outside the box. 24 divided by 4. 18 divided by 6. 25 divided by 5. When you use a division box, the number inside is the number that gets pronounced first. Here they're going to ask us to use words to show how each division problem is read. So, 18 divided by 6. 18 divided by 6. Not too tough. This one with the division bar, 16 divided by 4. So let's just go ahead and use our words. 16 divided by 4. The only potentially tricky one here is with the division box, 48 is our dividend. We say 48 first. This is pronounced 48 divided by 6. 48 divided by 6. Here they're asking us to identify the quotient, dividend, and divisor in this equation. This is all listed out on page 124 of your book if you are not sure. Let's start off with this first one, 90. What is 90? Is that the quotient, the dividend, or the divisor? If you need to go back and look at page 124, it would say that the dividend is first. So 90 is your dividend. So let's take a look at the second number, the number we're dividing by. Do you remember that? Maybe we have to go back to page 124 in our book. The number we're dividing by is always the divisor. Or let's take a look at this last one, the answer of a division problem. Again, if you're not sure, page 124 of the book, the answer of any division problem is always the quotient. So you would just have to write out the problem, draw in some arrows, and label each part, dividend, divisor, or quotient, whatever they are asking you. So that, my friends, is the end. 
you're definitely going to want to have your books open up to page 124, maybe a multiplication chart if you're still fuzzy on your facts, and good luck on the Socrative quiz. Well, that's all, folks. That's my line. Step aside, babe. Let a star do this. That's all! <laughs> that's all, folks! Can I go home now?